welcome to my first YouTube video. You might know me from Twitter or TikTok and this could be the first time that you're ever seeing me. My name is Serena, but a lot of people know me as She Networks. I started my content creation journey on TikTok and now I would like to expand it to YouTube and do some longer form content over questions and videos that I get on TikTok or Twitter where those forms might not be the best way to deliver the message. I figured a great way to start off my channel is to just talk about my journey in becoming a network engineer at Cisco. I get a lot of questions on how I became a network engineer and I think the problem is, is there's not really a clear path on how to do that. So I'm just gonna talk about my journey and I will say this is mine, but there are many ways to become a network engineer. This is not the only way to do it. My journey starts off when I was in high school. I took a job working in the computers department at Best Buy. And while I was there, I learned a ton about computers and eventually left about when I turned 18. Now, I really didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, but a lot of people had recommended doing networking because there was a local university that had a Cisco Academy, which was really good. and. When you go into networking, you're not super worried about a job and job security and coming from the Midwest and the Rust Belt, job security is something that people take very seriously. So I applied to my local university and started the Cisco Academy there. And it was very difficult and I definitely had a hard time adjusting. You know, in high school, I did not take my academics that seriously, so I didn't really have good habits. So I had to form all those and learning about networking was a whole different world to me. And so that was that was difficult and I struggled, but I eventually got through it and I ended up getting an associate's and a bachelor's degree in computer information systems. Now, while I was in college, I had a couple internships. One internship was working at a school district where I would pretty much do everything IT related. It was a very small team of two people and an intern, which was me, and they did everything. Now, after that, I went to a different internship at Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company, whose headquarters is in Akron, Ohio, and there I worked on their global server team and did a few projects for them. And about a year before I graduated, I applied to work at Cisco, and my friend had recommended it to me, but I was like, mm, there's no way. <laughs> um, but Cisco does have a new graduate program and it is called the Customer Experience Academy. The Customer Experience Academy is where they send the new graduates in Raleigh, North Carolina at not their headquarters, but one of their larger campuses. I really wanted to do this and be a part of this program, but I was not sure if I had the credentials to do it and I applied anyway based off of a few friends' recommendations and I ended up getting the job and I was super ecstatic. So after I graduated, I packed up my Honda Civic at the time with whatever I could fit in it and I drove to Raleigh, North Carolina. From there, I spent three months and I met so many friends. I had a fantastic experience and I really learned a lot about Cisco and just working in corporate in general and had a great time. But after that three months was up, I left the Customer Experience Academy with my CCNA and I was assigned to a TAC team that was in Richardson, Texas. So I packed up my car again and drove to Texas where I started at the Richardson office. Some people are familiar with that office because that is where the CCIE lab is. I think it's the only CCIE lab now in North America. I was very nervous starting on the TAC team because I knew that I would be working with customers who might have a lot more experience on the specific technology than I did, and the technology that I got assigned to was uh, Unified Computing Systems, which is their servers. I started off just training and shadowing, and then I took on a few cases that were typically hardware replacements or easier cases. And then I became a full-blown tech engineer, taking on cases 
daily, um, which included severity cases, so outages, even critical infrastructure outages like 911 centers, hospitals, um, and different things like that. I gained so much experience working in TAC because you go into so many customers' environments every single day, something completely new, and it was awesome. And yeah, at first it was a little overwhelming, but you have so many resources and you learn very quickly. I would not trade that experience for the world. I had an awesome time and I would definitely recommend it to other people who are aspiring network engineers. For the specific program that I went through, you do have to be a recent college grad. I think at the time it was like as long as you graduated within two years, you could apply for that academy. But if you are looking for a job out of college, there are other companies that do these new graduation or new graduate programs as well. I think even VMware might have one. So definitely look out for those and go to your career fairs at your school. But that is the long story short of how I became a network engineer at Cisco. If you like my content, please subscribe. And if you have any other questions that you would like to ask me, leave them in the comment section and I can make a full video about that as well. Thank you for watching my video and visiting my channel.